Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with Hall of Famer Dan Issel, kind enough to join us before a huge Nuggets Timberwolves game two. Dan, what do you think is the number one key? If I said, what's one thing the Nuggets have to do to get a win tonight? It is? They have to be more physical on defense. I thought uh, in the first game, Timberwolves shot 52 and a half percent. You can't let a good team shoot that well. And I didn't see too many people putting bodies on other people. So uh, if the one thing, and that, that, that kind of spills over into rebounding too, but they have to be more physical than they were in the game number one. We talk about, we and we've kind of talked about at length, the Nuggets bench this year. If you're Michael Malone, are you still, are you keeping your starters in for a little bit longer now that you don't have that Bruce Brown, you don't have that consistency? I, I think so, Romy, because, um, you know, there's there's no back-to-back games now. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. there, you're going to have at least a day, one day off in between every game. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I mean, these are well-conditioned athletes. Yeah. I know they've played a lot of games, but these are the playoffs. Yeah. And so, you know, you ought to be able to play 38, 40, 42 minutes. And uh, I, I, I would expect to see that tonight. What is your concern level with Jamal Murray and his health? Uh, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Because uh, uh, although he was super in the L.A. series, hitting the two yeah. the two game winners, it has affected him. There's no doubt about that. We were talking earlier. I love the plus minus mm-hmm. about how, how a player, how the team does when a player is either on the floor or off the floor. And even though the Nuggets only lost by seven, mm-hmm. uh, his, his minus number was in the 20s. Yeah. That's not Jamal Murray. And so it's, it's obviously affecting him. Yeah, clearly he's not quite himself. Uh, the NBA is going to announce the MVP on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. We're assuming it's going to be Nikola Jokic. Yeah. It certainly should be. Uh, why this year, of all the reasons he's most deserving, you think, to be the league MVP? Well, I thought, I, I, I mean, when you look at him, he's, he's different. He plays this game differently and better than anybody else does. And I thought they gave it to Embiid last year because it was his turn. Mm. I think I think Nicola has been the MVP in the league for the last four years. Yeah. So I, I truly expect him to win it. Did you ever think we'd see a big man like this, this dominant, this smart, this this everything? No, no, you're right. And it's uh, people ask me all the time, who do you compare him with? There isn't anybody. We've never seen we've never seen a guy. And the thing I like about him, the thing I love about him is he's not that athletic. <laughs> you know, he's he's playing the way he's playing mm-hmm. because he's so basketball yeah. savvy. Yeah. And that's what I love about him. And that being said, because it's he relies less, I think, on perhaps maybe the athleticism, even though he is athletic, do you think that gives him, I mean, more longevity? Can he get smarter and better even than he is now? Well, I don't know if he can get any better than he is right now. <laughs> yeah. But I think he can play this well yeah. for a long time. Yeah. I mean, he's never had a major injury. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he, he plays all the time, which is unlike a lot of superstars in the league. So, yeah, I think he can play at this level for a long, long time. That's what we love. We just got to soak it up and enjoy it for as long as it, as it lasts because we're watching a – once-in-generation player. Such a thrill. Dan Nissel, thank you so much for taking the time tonight. It's always such a treat to have you on. Thank you, hon. Guys, thanks for joining us. We will see you next time.